Hi guys, happy new new year as we as we go to the end of the trading year. You know, we just have three days left before uh, we we close 2017 before 2017 uh, comes to an end before we put this uh, in the books already. So to those who've been joining our Facebook live sessions for the year, thank you so much. It's always been a pleasure to be a uh, part and to be able to do this, to be part of your uh, your journey towards financial freedom. So now, just to give you a quick update on the market, uh, the PSEI is at 8,454.87. This is at uh, as of 2.30 p.m. today, no? Uh, from a technical aspect, still uh, at 8457 8453 uh, the PSEI is relatively expensive um, closing those high PE ratios and not just that uh, not not just from a PE ratio level we're also close to those resistance levels as well so for those who are positioned a technique a strategy that you can do uh, keep on holding them let's just watch out for in the next few days and in the next few weeks if we actually uh, hold on to or if we actually uh, go close to 8.5 and we actually break it. If we fail to break 8.5, I've said this in previous videos about our market, uh, it would be a good sell, sell signal, sell trigger still because the market will just hover from 8.1 to 8,500 over the next uh, few weeks. So uh, what you're seeing now also is quite expected that there's uh, relatively weaker volumes that uh, that's that's hounding the market, that, which is normal as we close the year. You know, expect there might be some window dressing for some funds that may want to have better portfolios, uh, better gains in their portfolios. That is a possibility uh, that might happen. But without, but but with that, generally the market is relatively weak. Some of the stocks are up. BDO is up 1.11 percent. BDO is currently at 155. PLDT is up also by 1.5 percent. It's at 1.492. Pure Gold is up at 50.35. It's up. 1.31%. Jollibee is up to a small 0.24%. It's at 247 pesos per share. While MPI is also up 0.59 at 6.77 pesos per share. So, uh, generally, a lot of stocks are up. Market is up uh, by a little amount. But again, no conviction as there's really not much volume. Uh, I'll say this even for people who are joining us for the first time or haven't been part of this uh, Facebook Live series, is that volume is a, is a, is a very, very, very important catalyst for markets, no, with, it gives you a shroud of conviction. It gives you uh, evidence also that uh, whatever is happening in the market is reliable. Uh, with that now, we don't see that happening yet. So the market could inch higher, but it will lack credibility if we don't have uh, volume as part of it. So uh, use this time, no, uh, as we close the year, use this time to assess your trades. Use this time also to uh, be able to check uh, where you made mistakes and then try to better it for 20. Uh, 2018. That's what I actually do. I use uh, the last days of the year to assess how my portfolio has been, how I actually made money, how I lost money. Then I try to tweak it for next year. You have to remember this: you're not supposed to be in competition with uh, with with your friends. You're not supposed to be in competition with each other. The only person you should you're, you should compete with in terms of gains, in terms of earnings, is yourself. Eh? Your goals has it hit your goals? I'll be making a series of videos about uh, financial goals and investment goals, and I hope you guys appreciate it as well, so that. Uh, we all start the year uh, good good and uh, well in general so prevailing themes for, for next year will be what I mentioned uh, the effects of the train bill uh, in terms of consumption in terms of inflation in terms of how it hits the mining industry in terms of how it hits uh, the car industry in terms of how it will affect more people having more disposable income as well so uh, those will be the prevailing themes uh, I think the fundamentals of our country is still uh, pretty much intact so uh, there's so much to be excited for for 2018 especially if you're an investor so there will always be an opportunity to make money in the markets and you know yun yun uh, just to share i'm trading from a park bench i'm monitoring the market uh, just outside from a park bench and that's what i like about stocks it allows you to live life at your own terms it allows you to live life that you get to do it without the confines of uh the, the eight to five without the confines of that without the confines also of of the walls of a of an office and you get to have your office my office now is here at this park bench so amazing that you and i hope that you guys get to do that as well that we get to see uh more filipinos into this and you guys also get to trade from your own narrative from your own technique from your own experience from uh what you perceive is your style in making money in the market because it actually can be done it can
can be done, it can be done, it can be done. So to end, the PSEI is still sideways, 81, 85, 550, no changes in that range. We're near the resistance. People who have positions, check out the 85, 850 range. Failure to break out of that, take profits. Break out from 85, 850, we stay above that level. Market will challenge 88 or 89 at the start of the year for 2018, should it happen. So exciting times ahead. I hope this helps you uh, in any aspect from where you are. No? By the way, just a quick plug. Our, our session someone for next year, we're going to open up uh, our stock sports already next year. 2018, our first session will be in, in Cagayan de Oro this January. Then after that, I'll be doing Investor Insights with Randall Chongson in Manila, SMX Aura. Then London, Stock Smarts London, our very, 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 very first event in, in Europe will be Stock Smarts London also next month. Then February, we will be in UAE for Stock Smarts UAE. It will be in Dubai. Uh, one, four days of sessions there. Then after that, we will go back to Manila for our entire course of Stock Smarts Manila uh, this March 2018. Then April, we will have Cebu. Uh, Ilo, Ilo, then maybe we'll have Davao and Singapore. So those are the events lined up for uh, I think the first few months of 2018. And I really, I hope that uh, when I get to do more events, because I I just love interacting with people. I, I know this video series is also amazing. As long as we get to uh, we get to educate and we get to teach uh, for, for people who are different parts of the world no? but uh, it's just an amazing feeling to see you guys uh, take part and uh, just really study the markets and I just really hope that if your 2017 was amazing I have to understand the PSEI is better now in a better situation now it's up as compared to uh, where we were last year no so it's normal for it to go sideways because people will also need to uh, take profits as well people will need to take money uh, off the table as well so uh, that's normal it's in a better position but if your 2017 is amazing if you guys were able to write good stocks you were able to position well I, I really hope and pray that your 2018 will be even better because you know why uh, we need people like you we need people who are investing we need the one percent to grow bigger and we need to take this uh, nation from where it is uh, to where it can be and I really believe that you guys we all have a part to play to make the Philippines great again and if there's one thing that I, I am consistent with with how I share this is uh, the stock market is just, not just really for us but it allows us to earn more but as we earn more it allows us to be a blessing to other people as well and I hope that it creates a framework for you also that for next year uh, as you start earning you start becoming a blessing to people around you you start becoming a blessing and helping other people as well that uh, it's not just about pera pera lang it's about prosperity with a purpose that you uh, change the narrative that people will see the Philippines as not just the wealthiest people around but the most generous as well that we change the narrative of how the world sees us that we change the narrative that uh, we're not poor we're not just getting by but we have more than enough and we are helping people uh, who, who is who are in need so god bless you merry christmas to everyone and a happy new year i'll be back in manila so it's nice to be back home there's still no place like home manila is still amazing it's where we're supposed to